This game looks insane. Congratulations, Respawn. You created a game that now has 100 million players, 90%, which might be Smurfs, but we don't know. But that's no small feat. That is absolutely amazing that they were able to create such an amazing game that drew in so many people and continues to do so. But that's not what this video today is about. This video today is how, since day one since I've been playing, Season 8 is the worst state of Apex that I've ever seen. With the least amount of fixes from Respawn out of any season I've also ever seen. And I'm not talking small little I got stuck in the wall glitches. I'm talking game breaking account resets, can't talk on the microphone, games not counting, events being put in wrong. I'm gonna cover all of that because all these issues are coming in and almost no fixes are going out to make the game stable and for players to enjoy. So let's go deep diving into that and what really is causing this game to get killed off by how quickly it's growing. So before season eight even began, EA went to its shareholders and said, hey, this is going to be our flagship shooter from April 2020 to April 2021. It's going to overtake DICE. This is going to be our next big thing. And we're going to put all of our attention and money and resources into that. Well, that was a lie. And the reason that is a lie is that when you dump money into your flagship shooter, the first thing that you need to upgrade is your servers. Because when you get 100 million players, they're going to overload it. If you don't upgrade those, they're not going to be prepared to take on all the extra work they have to do for all these other players getting into the game, which we've seen from the infinite loading screen bugs this season to the string out of memory bugs to can't connect to servers to code net code leaf there are more codes in this game than in the soda section underneath bottle caps in a 7-eleven it is absolutely ridiculous the other big thing that you should go ahead and do when you make a game your flagship shooter is to invest in your cybersecurity, your server security, and make sure that from the client side they can do as little to impact the game as possible to break things. However, that hasn't been an issue at all in Season 8. As you're going to see right here, there are a ton of DDoS attacks happening in Ranked. Anytime you get into a high diamond game or in a Predator game, you can count on that lobby getting DDoS, meaning everyone from it is going to get kicked except for the DDoS who's going to get in there and get all the kills and rank up and exploit the system. And I know Respawn has said, oh, we're going to pursue legal action against the cheaters. And I'm all for that because I do not enjoy when people cheat the game and ruin it for other people. But also, instead of just going after them legally, maybe you should make it so that that isn't as exploitable from your end. This hasn't been an issue as much since season eight. So obviously something is going on there that hasn't happened in prior seasons. And then of course we have the massive account reset that happened to PlayStation users where all their stats and all their wins got reset to level one, which just completely ruined a lot of people's day. How does this happen? Apparently it was a database shard, but what is going on at Respawn where they can just go ahead and accidentally do an oopsie and all of these save files for an entire system are just completely gone. I don't understand how this happens. I once again have not seen this in prior seasons where it's a mass wipe. I've seen one or two people have this issue, not an entire console system. Now they've done a lot this season. For instance, when March came around, we actually got Apex Legends on the Nintendo Switch, which was fantastic. I've been having a ton of fun playing it. There's one problem though, and that is the massive amount of bugs, which they have not addressed since the game launched. It's been about a month and a half now, and almost nothing has been fixed or even touched on by Respawn. They're not saying anything. And here are some of the big glitches going on. And this has actually impacted me. The first one is sometimes you will play a game and the points and stats and kills and ranked points will not count for that game. I had that happen to me in a Diamond 2 lobby when I was 100 points away from Diamond 1. I got a win with max points and nothing counted. How does that continually happen? And there are pages of people complaining about this, but EA hasn't released any new info on that. The other big issue with the Nintendo Switch is the microphone audio issue. Trying to talk to teammates that are on other consoles. Now, this has actually been a problem with Apex Legends since crossplay was first introduced. Because if you're on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, sometimes you can't hear your crossplay teammates in the game chat lobby. But the issue with the Nintendo Switch is you can hear those people on crossplay, but they just sound like they're in a fishbowl. Everything is distorted. You cannot understand them. You cannot hear them. And for this to still be an issue, because crossplay audio issues have been a problem since around season six, to go into a new port and not address that 
that issue at all and just to launch the game. It's such an identifiable thing. That should have been one of the first things they noticed and are coming up with a solution. But once again, no word from Respawn. The last patch that we had any notes on that gave us a lot of information was back in March. And it was a tiny patch at that that didn't address any of the issues that I mentioned. All they did was fix some crashes, including one tied to holds, resolve some out of string mem, fix some menu overlap issues on Switch, and other various stability fixes. A lot of that is just very generic and doesn't give me any information on the big ones that I noted, but also no one on Nintendo Switch was asking for menu overlap fixes. Any of the other two fixes would have been a great way to go, or at least let us know, hey, we're aware of this and this is when we're gonna fix it. And we haven't heard any news about any fixes from Respawn since that patch. The only thing we've heard was about two days ago when War Games came out. And what happened when War Games came out? Well, go surprise, there was a bug. And that bug was for the game mode second chance, stats were not counting, so they just said, screw it, they removed it, put in armor regen, and maybe we'll get a fix, maybe we'll see it back again, but they didn't even do any patch to the game that we could see that they would give us files for. They just said, yep, game mode's in, oh, this one's broken, we'll get in this other one. You can't even launch a new event with no patch notes, apparently, and still not have a bug happen on the first day it does. This is just ridiculous. And there are so many other glitches I could go over. This video could be two hours long if I went over every single glitch. There's also this one with Loba's bracelet, which has been basically broken since her character was introduced. But instead of fixing that and going ahead and making sure it's no longer a problem, we need to go ahead and nerf Lifeline and Caustic. I don't understand the priorities in this game. When you go ahead and nerf them, I guarantee you there will be a bug with Lifeline or with Caustic. There's going to be something that happens with them, but instead of fixing Loba, they're focusing on that, and that is also what really bothers me. Those legends don't need to be nerfed right now. Instead, we need to fix the characters that are broken so that every character is at least playable. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you're probably like, wow, this dude really hates Apex Legends, or he's incredibly biased and just wants to slam it. That's not true. I love Apex Legends. I've been playing since day one, and I play almost every single day. This game is the most fun and has reinvigorated my love for shooters more than any other game. That being said, I hate to see it in this state. This is, like I've said so many times, the worst state Apex has been in since launch. And they need to start fixing things and at least being transparent with us about when these fixes are gonna come. Because for season nine, we know that we're getting arenas, a new legend, possibly a new gun. There are a lot of things that Apex Legends seems to be adding in but they still haven't fixed any of the things that have been going on for all of season eight and before. They need to take a step back instead of implementing a bunch of new things, which will be probably very broken and glitchy, instead of fixing the things that so many people have been complaining about for so long. That's what they need to do. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think Respawn and Apex Legends should be doing to improve the state of their game, or are you completely happy and haven't experienced any of these bugs? In which case, congratulations, I wish I was you. As always, we gotta go over who was first, and that was Azriel. Congratulations on being first, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy Apex Legends as you should. I still think it's a wonderful game. It just needs to reprioritize what they're gonna fix and when. Until next time, Legends, keep slinging the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.